When some people get nervous, their hands or other areas sweat. Well, imagine if that happened 24 hours a day. Continuous sweating has a name, hyperhidrosis. And as Ann Jansen reports in tonight's Prescription Arkansas report, there is a surgery that can solve the problem. Excessive sweating used to be a huge problem for Bonnie Schlicker. It was almost impossible to write in a classroom where the heat or the temperature was really high and my paper would be soaking wet and I couldn't write and I'd get really frustrated. Her parents searched everywhere for a solution. We had tried everything. We'd gone on the internet and done searches and we'd done that, you know, that horrible procedure where she stuck her hands in water and uh, electric current shot through her hands to try and stop the, the sweating. Then Bonnie's mom found Dr. Hugh Burnett, who performed a procedure called a thoracic sympathectomy. The procedure is done as an outpatient, and it's done inside the chest. That's where these nerves are located that have to be removed. And we use three small five millimeter incisions on each side, collapse the lung, remove the section of nerve that controls the sweating to the head and neck, the armpit, and the hand and uh, then go to the opposite side and do it. We typically will we'll watch the patient for about four hours in recovery room and then discharge them home. While hyperhidrosis doesn't threaten someone's life, it can be a costly and inconvenient affliction. We've seen a young man who was a classical guitarist from Cersei that brought us in a grocery sack full of rusted guitar strings. He had to change his strings once a month in order to keep playing. And it just goes on and on uh, with uh, the disabilities that these people face. It's been a little more than a year since Bonnie's surgery. Now she's excelling in sports like basketball and tennis. Well, last year after the surgery, I noticed a little adjustment period. You know, she said the feel of the ball was just a little different. And I never felt she really hit her groove the entire year last year. And we still had a good year. And boy, since this summer, she has just turned it up a notch. She took up tennis last year and would have probably never done that before when she had that, that terrible problem with the sweating in her hands. And um, the last year, uh, she's excelled in that in one conference this year. So she's being able to get into some sports that otherwise she may not have. It's also given Bonnie the confidence to be more outgoing. One of the things that's been kind of fun for her, she has played keyboards in the church um, contemporary praise band for the youth service. And uh, that has been a great experience for her. She's always loved music and she gets up and she sings, which um, before I don't think she ever would have done that because it would have been very apparent to anybody sitting there, you know, puddles on the floor on both sides of her while she'd be singing. So it's opened up a lot for her. And she Since Bonnie's surgery, her mother, Chris, has personally spoken to people from all across the country about the surgery. She says she doesn't hang up until she thinks she's convinced them that the surgery is a life-changing experience.